Today, I'm filing applications for warrants of arrest before pretrial chamber one of the International Criminal Court in the situation in the state of Palestine. These applications are the outcome of independent investigations conducted by my office under the direction of the two principal trial lawyers standing behind me today, uh, Brenda uh, J. Uh, Hollis, who in addition to leading our work in the situation in Ukraine for the past couple of years, has since January also taken over leadership of the Palestine investigation. Uh, and Andrew Cayley, King's Counsel, who more recently joined the office and will be leading our work on the situation in the state of Palestine going forward. On the basis of evidence collected and examined and analyzed by my office, I have reasonable grounds to believe that three senior leaders of Hamas, Yahya Sinwa, Muhammad Daif, and Ishmael Haniya, bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of Israel and the state of Palestine from at least the 7th of October, 2023. Extermination as a crime against humanity. Murder as a crime against humanity and as a war crime. The taking of hostages as a war crime. Rape and other acts of sexual violence during captivity as crimes against humanity and as war crimes. Torture during captivity as a crime against humanity and as a war crime. Other inhumane acts during captivity as a crime against humanity. Cruel treatment during captivity as a war crime. And outrages upon personal dignity during captivity as a war crime. These crimes were committed in the context of the ongoing armed conflict detailed in the applications and as part of a widespread and systematic attack against the civilian population of Israel by Hamas and other armed groups. My office submits that there are reasonable grounds to believe that these three Hamas leaders are criminally responsible for the killing of Israeli civilians in attacks perpetrated by Hamas and other armed groups on the 7th of October 2023, the taking of hostages and the other crimes alleged in our applications. My office has diligently collected evidence and interviewed survivors and eyewitnesses at the scene of at least six major attack locations. The applications rely upon evidence such as CCTV footage, authenticated audio, photographs and video material, expert evidence, and statements by Hamas and the members of other armed groups, including by the alleged perpetrators themselves. Sinwa, Dif, and Haniya not only planned and instigated the crimes committed on the 7th of October 2023 in our submission, they also acknowledged their responsibility through their own words and by their actions. They are charged both as co-perpetrators and as superiors. My office also submits today that there are reasonable grounds to believe that hostages taken from Israel, taken from their homes, taken from their communities, have been kept in inhumane conditions and that some have been subjected to horrendous sexual violence, including rape, while being held in captivity. We have reached that conclusion based upon medical records, contemporaneous video and documentary evidence, and interviews with survivors. We are continuing our investigations into crimes committed on the 7th of October, including investigating further reports of sexual violence. And I repeat and underline my call for the immediate release of all hostages taken from Israel and for their immediate safe return to their families. This is a fundamental imperative, demanded by good conscience, demanded by morality, and demanded by international humanitarian law. Hostages must be released immediately.